Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back for part two of my Christmas decorating share. Crafty Christmas, right? So these are a couple of felt pieces that I made with buttons, and I've done some sewing. I've made a couple quilts, not full-size lap quilts. Um, what else? I made a pillow cover. You, I've shared a lot of that, um, but not a lot of sewing, and felting is super cool. I've seen ornaments that people make with felt as well, and so I'm not saying I'll never try it, but this was something I think I just saw in a craft magazine. Looks like his hat's falling off. The glue comes unstuck. Um, probably in a crafting magazine. And I made it out of dowels and little wooden. Um, these aren't the best. Well, he stands pretty good, but I would get a wider base. But I like, like maybe glue this to a flat piece of wood, you know, because they do fall over. But so cute. Um, and then two little wonky trees with buttons. So I have those, and then I shared this in the previous video. This is just a kit that I got, um, but it's all decoupage. So I just picked out some Christmassy paper and then just added whatever I wanted and painted a little bit and used a little um, print printout for her face for an angel. And then here's one of my art dolls, which I got this idea from um, when I took the class. Man, I'm sorry. I, my name, I don't have the names. What is her name? I took it at an online um, convention. And um, it was online classes. Anyway, this face came from the, the um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I took, I got in trouble for doing art dolls for sharing too much because I did pay for the class. So, they did tell me to take down my videos that were all about art dolls. Um, I can't think of her name. Oh gosh, I probably blocked it out because it was really sad. I didn't, I didn't mean to break any rules or upset anyone, but I did. And anyway, this wasn't one of her pieces. I just created this from some from the style that she did. But I added beads for the arms and legs. That was my little um, addition to it because I have beads and I loved beading. So she's my Christmas angel. Um, this is embossing and then I used um, metallic rubs to get uh, to show it. And there's buttons and just everything, but that's a mixed media piece that I hang in. Anyway, this one I didn't share in my last video, but this is another Maxine Thomas on a shaker box type thing. Um, and I, oh three, I won second prize for this one when, um, I went to convention and I brought this with me and then you just set it out and they judge them. And I think the award is in here, <laughs> but anyway, these are, um, all of the different ornaments I made that are not just painted. They're different types of, um, crafts. So this is, uh, called plastic canvas. I did a few of those. I want to just see if I can kind of organize these a little bit. Uh, here's an, I did a lot of them. My, when my mom was diagnosed with um, ovarian cancer, I used to go over to her house and it was something that I could do while she was, while we were hanging out because I really can't sit still when I'm, I can't just watch TV and not be doing something. So um, if we if we went to get her treatments or whatever we were doing, um, I would bring it with me um, <clears throat> in a little bag because you could bring yarn. It wasn't heavy. It's very light. Um, and then you cut these to the pattern. It's just plastic. And then just thread the um, yarn through and make a little design. So these are, these hang on my tree. They're my little plastic canvas ornaments. I love this gold thread. So pretty. A um, couple angels. I have an angel tree topper. I'll get her. She's in there. Um, little beads, plastic beads. So cute. And I love angels. Anything angels I'll do. 
he's cool nutcracker guy or soldier tin soldier with all that gold threading basic Santa star Santa and then another angel look at her she's playing the harp but look at the gold accents I mean it's sometimes this stuff can look really grandma ish but look I mean there's even strings on the harp but I love to create you guys and I will I'll make anything I don't care like I thought they were fantastic at the time. <laughs> I was super into them. Oh, here's another one of those little angels that I got the kit. A little bit different. It had different shaped wings. This one has butterfly wings. This one just has little, but it's the same, same thing. And then I just used stickles and glossy accents and used wire to hang it. Um... Here's a polymer clay one. I think I did tutorials on these. It's on glass. So these are really heavy to hang on the tree. Um, I have the oval shaped ones and I had a round one. And I have two of the oval shaped ones hanging in my craft room. I can see at the moment. They're not necessarily Christmassy, but because this was a tree shape, I decided to do it as a, a Christmas ornament. And you can see through because I put the gems so that the light could come through. These are a la I'm you know what? I have Alzheimer's, I think. It sucks. Anyway, she's a um I took a couple classes with her. This is totally her style of polymer clay. Um it'll come to me. Here's polymer clay. This is one of my very, very first, very, very first, before I even watched YouTube probably. And I just made it like a three-dimensional little angel with heart wings that I just kind of, and then I put stickles on there. And she's holding the candy cane. And I made, I think I did get this from YouTube. I made a little halo and stuck it down in her head and put, um, it looks like an eye pin. Stuff that down in there before I baked it and then I can make my hanger. Cute. I told you. And then I painted her face. Very primitive looking. Nothing like really artistic about it, but I made it and I love it. <laughs> this is from a cookie cutter. And then I just jazzed it up myself you know put layers on or whatever so I just up oh, 2017 I think I made these with Maya too I think she made one oh and I used little um, crystals for the leaves on his hat and the berry is actually a crystal as well crystal buttons like little um, gems you know jewelry gems and I just I think I painted it with um, mica powders uh, any more clay in here? No. Um, these were so fun. And I have tons of these little ornaments. They're not all Christmassy, but, um, these little, uh, matchboxes. So fun. So, 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 so fun. So this is when I started doing paper crafting. Actually, I got this one at a craft show. This is called Quilling, right? never tried it before all of these little pieces of paper are twisted up and glued together it's an angel of course I love angels and then it became an angel but she had to glue all these little pieces of paper together I don't think I'll ever do quilling I mean if if all you had was paper to create it's a way to get a three-dimensional little thing you know a um, couple of wood burning. Oh, I didn't show you that one yet, but I have a couple wood burning ones. I love this. This is a Maxine Thomas um, design to my favorite flake. I believe it's a, a pattern packet. Oh, I didn't put the date. Dang it. Anyway, I was very beginnery at um, wood burning. I mean, I tried. 
I tried to get some shading in there and I added a little color with um, I think pens. I think I used um, gel pens, not paint. But I mean still, it's just basic and it probably took me so fast to make that. But he hangs on my tray. I love him. And this Happy Holidays one, 2016, this was uh, a stamp. So I just stamped it out on there and then I wrote, I probably traced this shape and then wrote it out in my handwriting. Happy Holidays. And this one just turned out nice and I liked it. And I'm pretty sure these are um, gel pens as well. So not paint. Because then, since then, I've started using paint more with my wood burning. Um, and then these, I so I'll bring this into the pick. Look, bottle cap with... I think it's glossy accents with an image. Don't know where the image came from. Probably from a printable. Um, beads and bells glued onto a cardboard or what is that stuff called? Anyway, um, snowflake, another snowflake, and a, and a flat back. And then beads with a charm. And this is a, I could actually color this charm with alcohol ink, but since it's all blue, I wouldn't do that. Because that would be, you know. But I, this one hangs on my tray. And then I put stickles. And the ribbon. You know, everything, it's all good. But look at this. This is a little matchbox that I covered with paper. And this image was um, a, a pattern pack. Um, I'm sorry. Pattern pack? Is that what I'm trying? No, no, no. A paper pad. <laughs> a Christmas paper pad, like a small one. So I just took this little image out with Santa and the reindeer and centered it on there and glued it on. And this is a button and a ribbon and beads. And then when you open it up, <clears throat> ooh, that's horrible. More buttons. A reindeer button, a little tree button, and then a star. That's probably just a metal finding of some type. So cute. And bells, just Christmassy colors. I'm going to push it fast. Ugh. And then these are just trims. No date. Stinks. But I'll hang that on my tree. And then this one again. This is just when I really started getting into mixed media. And my die cutting machine. So I probably cut this butterfly from a, my die cutting machine. Covered it with paper. Um, with foil, I embossed this foil piece and then used alcohol ink, probably. I don't remember. Um, bottle cap, I put gold glitter around it with a little angel image in there. This, I want to say this is um, bead findings that I would get on clearance, and it just has snowflakes in there with red, and so I put another charm. And just connected it and then the bottom is just made up of different um, jewelry beads findings all types of stuff with this color metal you know so that's what ties it all together and a snowflake at the bottom and then there's a big loop like this is from a jewelry finding couldn't tell you where I got it no idea but I would just dig through my stash but she hangs on the tree I hope I haven't been in the shot you guys I'm so sorry one of these guys, I have a couple of these that I made, but this is a, who is this little elf by? I can't think of the designer of the elf, but it's a stamp. And I think I probably used Copics to color him. And then this little doggy, I cut him out and put him in the background and did belief. So these are considered my mixed media um ornaments you know again no date I could have put a date with a alcohol ink pen because it would have written on the metal and then just a ribbon and some beads on the bottom so cute I love them I really do uh, cork one of my faves I love this so much snowman inside a bottle cap then a cork with the same you know, a similar image from the same paper pad, but I put a little snowflake on top of the cork and then a, whatever they're called, on the bottom too, and then beads with a snowflake. So this is a little snowman with silver and blue and a little red. 
I loved when I made these I would lay out all my supplies and see that he has a red hat he has a red scarf so I put a red bead I just love them so much so this gets me so excited when I see these. here's my fries it says Sarah Evans whatever but it's a red ribbon that's second place for the competition for my for this guy um what else the paper crafting ones. This is paper mache that I covered with paper. So different paper pads, different trims. There's two different trims on there. And then these, I want to say are, oh my God, one of my favorite stamp. Lawn Fawn. I think it's a Lawn Fawn reindeer. And that's it. He's just on there with paper. Very basic. But I must have used like pearl paint because I can kind of tell. Um, this one I love so much. Like I must have had so much fun when I made this. Um, this is the Nutcracker um, from, I might even say it on here. Oh my gosh. I used to love these paper pads and I can't think of what they're called right now, you guys. I'm, I think I do have Alzheimer's like. I may get Alzheimer's, um, but anyway, this just felt like it needed to go on here. This little piece of um, the leaf and the and the flower, and then I made this little angel out of beads. So cute! And then I stacked everything up. Look, there's different size um, sticky things that lift it up to give you that dimensional for the poinsettias, and then I added stickles. And I, I fussy cut all this different stuff out of the paper pad that I cannot remember the name of. And then just added um, glossy accents to different things and used wood and buttons and metal findings and trims. And oh my God, stop. It's so freaking cute. I love him. This is one of my faves. And the angel button. I mean, I don't know if it goes together, but I happen to love it. I happen to love it so much. And then this is just a trim that I glued as the hanger. This one, again, this is from this, probably the same paper line. I can't remember it. You guys will know. Put it in the comments. This is all just fussy cut out of the paper line. And then I pop it up with little pop dots. I would cut the pop dots apart or whatever and um, some of them are stickers. I'm sure this is this might be a sticker, just a believe sticker. And don't forget about your stickles, your glossy accents. And then this was a ribbon I think that came off of something else because I wouldn't have done this. Like this, see look, I put it through um, an eye screw and just pulled it through and then it sits like that and that's the hanger like I had it I had to have had it and I just figured out a way to do it and that's how I did it and that's the hanger and I love putting her on the tray every year then this guy is a Santa stamp and I want to say Stampendous and I probably colored it with Copics which by the way I do not use Copics anymore I've I should probably um, de-stash them. Some glittery snowflakes, holly leaves, and berries that are stickled, and he's all stickled. And then the background paper, OMG, so cool. Yeah, this definitely, this background paper is from the same um, brand of paper pad. And then the double trims again, red with the pearls. And then, because these are paper mache ornaments, you can like screw a little eye screw in there and use that for your um, hanger. And then these are when I make cards. I just decided to make some shaker cards into ornaments. And just with the dogs and the cat, so cute. They have little antlers on this doggy. Have a furry Christmas, 2013. And that's just chunky glitter back there with ace tape or whatever. And I covered it with ribbon. So cute. These are um, stamped out bows. I used to always want to make them dimensional, so I would put two, stack two on top of each other. 
And then this one, again, another shaker. Um, Stampendous, Little Fairy. But this was probably a card. Merry Christmas 2013. Like, I think you, I would have made a card with this, like a Christmas card. But I just decided to make it into an ornament. And again, the stacked heart, I mean the stacked bows, they're stuck together. And the bling, always the bling. Never can get enough bling. And then this is just another um, stamp that I stamped out. Don't remember the name of the brand of these little, you recognize the people, that the little person though. And she's Copic colored with stickle wings and a little angel drop at the bottom. Paper mache, fabric, lace trim. So cute and I think we're getting there. We're almost done. Um, I shared the clay and then this is more paper crafting from the same Nutcracker paper by I cannot think of it. I'm going to find it in here because I'll bet you. So this is actually a mini album that you could, um, you know, use. But I just made it into a little Christmas ornament. It's kind of the story of the Nutcracker. The Mouse King. Sugar Plum Fairy. I thought it might have the name of the paper in here. And I made that in 2013. Like it's a little book. And I don't know why this hangs so like that. It might be, I don't know, because the, oh, that's the hanger. <laughs> this is the hanger that it hangs on the tree with. And then I just close it with this string. Graphic 45. Yay, it's a graphic 45. I, when I first started paper crafting, I was infatuated with Graphic 45. I loved it. I love fussy cutting. I wanted to make everything I saw with Graphic 45. So each little piece of this is just cut out of the paper. And then I put it on a plain piece of paper. You guys know the deal. And this one's, again, another little mini book. Let's see what this looks like inside. Same thing. Just smaller little pages and these are in color. I may have colored them. I may have used pencil. I don't know. So cute. It's a little plainer though. 2013. And then last but not least I have oh, two more two more different types to show you. This is Last year when I was walking, I one of my neighbors has a um, barrel, no not barrel staves, anyway, they're like um, the things that you, anyway, they're at Home Depot anyway, I can't think of the name of it, I'm so sorry, but these are made out of tongue, de tongue depressors, stir sticks, and then I covered them with Christmas paper and blinged them out and these were my little ornaments last year. I did a tutorial for these. Just added metal findings and some ribbon. I have two of those because I gave a lot of these away. But I guess I liked these the best and kept these. And then I actually made a Santa out of, um, what is this called? Uh, not punch tin, but it is, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I might not even post this because I have not had a lot of words, but I'm just using my red Sharpie to brighten up these little red berries. It's embossing on, um, not aluminum, but anyway, I just did one of those and made him an ornament. And that is it my friends um, so many ideas for you to go and have fun and create and you know what if you're hanging it on your tree it looks so good everything is handmade I have a few just a very few that I still put up from the that the kids made um, but I didn't keep a lot of those um, and then I just have all my ornaments my painted stuff so until next year, 
<laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.